This is Alan Bush with Archer Financial Services. Seeing some overnight gains in stock index futures, this on very limited news, which in itself could be a sign of strength uh, for this market. Recent gains in the uh, stock index futures can be linked to on balance better than expected economic reports over the last uh, couple of weeks. Also we have the ongoing bullish influence of anticipated easier credit from the Federal Reserve. From what we're seeing in this market, follow through gains are likely over the next several months. I also believe that this is a buy the rumor sell the fact situation. The idea is that the Fed sooner or later will be easing credit conditions. Our belief though is that they will probably ease credit later rather than sooner. In any event, this is the dominant influence that is likely to take stock index futures higher. In the foreign currencies seeing some strength in the euro currency after a report that Spain will receive some of the emergency bailout money that is going to go to aid Spanish banks. However, some of the gains in the euro currency was limited by news that the unemployment rate in the Netherlands increased to 6.5%. Seeing some strength in the British pound, this after retail sales in the UK unexpectedly increased. Seeing the Australian dollar and the Canadian holding steady, I think there are opposing influences in this market as, as far as the commodity currencies that will keep those two currencies in a range being supported by a flight to quality funds coming into Australian and Canadian debt while a slowing global economy is a bearish factor. So we continue to believe that the currency to be in is in the euro currency on the short side, although there seems to be a somewhat better tone to the European financial situation over the last couple of days. I think this is likely to be only a temporary situation. So from here, I would expect lower prices, even though we are a little bit better today in the euro currency, still believing that the 120 support area will be taken out and I believe that there will be follow through weakness to the downside. So any gains in the euro currency should be viewed, we believe, as a selling opportunity. In the credit markets, recently we have seen better than expected U.S. economic data, putting some pressure on Treasury futures, although we are now near a major support area. Longer term, we feel that the anticipated easier credit from the Fed, along with a weakening European economic situation, along with slower growth in Asia, all of which are going to contribute to higher prices for treasuries. So I think any weakness should be viewed as a buying opportunity. We continue to believe that the bull market is intact for treasury futures markets. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.